Hey guys, this is Miss Klingsick. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the conferences uh, category in Schoology. Um, and so this is going to be a way that if we get to the point where I need to be having online lessons, this is what we'll be using. Um, but also if we need to meet for like a class meeting or if you want to have a face to face conversation with me, um, this is what you'll be using. Hey, so I have myself logged in here as a student in Schoology. Okay. Um, what you would do is you would go to either language arts with Miss K if it's like an academic meeting or if it's going to be a class meeting, it would be in recess. Um, but you could also do this, with, do this same process with Miss Wallace if she ever does set up a online conference. Um, but I'm going to be showing you in the recess folder. So you just go to the course. And once you're there, you're going to go to where it says conferences right here to the side. Okay, so right here, see that red conferences right here is what I'm going to be clicking. Okay, so you click on that. And from here, you're going to see that there is a conference listed right here. Now, it's not started yet, and it says that right here. Okay, it says not started. But on this page, you can see that it tells you when the conference will happen. Um, so I will send out a message. I will also post on Schoology. I'll send out an email, all that good stuff when we do have whole class sessions or conferences. Um, so, but if you ever forget and you want to check, you can come back here and see what time. So this one's going to be from 2 to 2.30. Okay. So once it is that time and I have started the conference, I'm going to show you what that looks like now. Okay, um, so now you can see that I'm back, still on the conferences page, and now it says uh, that it is in progress. So right here it says that this conference is in progress. So when you are ready to join the conference, you're going to click on the title of the conference. So click on that, and a new pop-up is going to be opened. Then once the new tab has opened, you're going to have to go through a few steps. So the first one is going to ask, how would you like to join the audio? Okay, well, you're going to click microphone. Okay. And from there, it's going to ask, do you allow this program to use your microphone? And you're going to say allow. Okay. And then it's going to ask, this is a private echo test. Speak a few words and did you hear your audio? So what you'll do is when you say something, you should be able to hear yourself through the computer. Um, right now, I don't have that set up because it would mess up the recording of this screen. Um, but once you can hear yourself, you'll push yes. If you don't, push no and it will help you. So I'm going to push yes. All right. And once you have pushed yes, this is what's going to show up. Okay. So um, it's going to say welcome. What you're going to do is you're just going to click this right here. Okay, you're going to hide that, and then you should see me real big because I'll be in the conference. Okay, and then over here to the side, you're going to see your name right here, and then you should see my name. Okay, now there's also a chat, so to get rid of this, you just push the public chat right here and get rid of that, and then you should see me as a big one. Now, right now, you are only sharing your microphone. Okay, so if you look down here, see how it's got a little microphone and it's talking? Well, that's because I'm talking, you're showing. If you would like to show your webcam, then right here, where it says share webcam at the bottom, you're going to click that. And again, you're going to push allow if you allow it to use your webcam. And you're going to see yourself and you're going to start sharing. And then look, there you are. Now, right now, you're seeing two of me. So this is like student Miss Klingsick, and this is teacher Miss Klingsick over here. Um, but what you're going to see is on this screen, you'll see me, and then on this screen, you'll see yourself. And then as more people join and join, then you'll start to see their screens as well. Okay, so now if you need to mute yourself, let's say your mom's asking a question, you click this mute button, and it stops the audio. We can't hear you anymore. Okay, if you need to stop sharing your webcam, you click on the webcam. I'm going to unmute myself. And it stops the webcam and you go away. Okay. To turn it back on, you click the webcam again, push start sharing. And again, there you are. Okay. Now, when you are completely finished with the conference, the time is ending, I will leave the conference, but then you can also click this leave audio, this hang up button right here. It says you have left the audio conference. And then you'll leave just like that. Um, it also works if you just exit out right here. Okay. Um, so that is how we will be doing conferences. 
All right, so I'm gonna exit out of here. I'm gonna go back to my main conference page. So again, just to go over it, you're gonna go into the course that the conference is happening in. You'll click on this conferences button. And then once it's time, you'll click on the title of the conference. And then you'll go through and allow, click microphone and allow your microphone. And then from there, you can turn on your webcam. Okay. I hope you guys are excited to be able to use this new feature in Schoology. If you have any questions, please send me a message. Um, and I hope you're excited to use this new tool. Okay. Bye-bye.